Hello. Hi, Randy. Hello. Yeah, you don't know me. My name is Charlene. I'm a friend of your cousin Angie's. Yes. And she told me that maybe it'd be a good idea for me to call you because, you know, you're kind of always out running around having a good time, and that's what I'm into, too. And I thought you might want to meet. Let's, let's, you know, let's talk a little bit. What do you like to do on a first date, and what are your <laughs> pastimes and things like that, you know, hobbies? Boy, I don't know. I just do whatever comes natural. Oh, God, you sound like my kind of guy. Because I see I live on a lake, you know, we get the big boat out. And, I don't know. What about, um, well, Angie said that you're kind of a hunk, you know. And I was just wondering how you feel about, oh, premarital sex or extramarital sex. <laughs> you probably don't know more about this than me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, so, I know a little bit, not too much. So I could teach you a thing or two? Oh, probably. Mm, can you teach me anything? Uh, <laughs> Probably. Hmm. Like what? Jeez, you got to tell me what you're into, and then I have an idea of whether or not I want to call you back. <laughs> or give you my number. Well, <laughs> this is kind of weird. I, I don't know. It's just, I'm into a lot of things. I like sports, weightlifting. Oh, you're into weightlifting? That's a manly kind of thing. I love weightlifting. You know, well, my favorite place to hang out at when I was going to Bemidji State College was you the men's there. weight room. I loved it. Honey! Oh, my God. Who's that? Um, you remember that little question about extramarital sex? That, uh, hi, hon. <laughs> um, Who are you talking to? Um, um, <laughs> Hello? Um, Who are you talking to? Um, um, <laughs> Hello? 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 Hello, Randy? Yeah. What the hell are you doing with my wife, son? Hey, she called me. What do you mean she called you? I don't know, maybe, uh, you don't satisfy her. I don't know. Maybe you and I should get together and talk about this, son. Hey, I don't think so. Just because me and your wife get together doesn't mean we have to get together. What do you mean you and my wife are getting together? Oh, well, we just talk and do some fun things. Randy, you're a sick human being. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sick guy, I guess. You really are. But uh, it sounds like you have more problems than I do. <laughs> Randy? Yep? This is the KQ Call of the Day Challenge. And you are really twisted. Really? <laughs> really. Oh, great, great. I listen to you guys every morning. <laughs> you know? Yeah? I like your style, though. I like it, too. There you go. I'm getting trouble this way, though. <laughs> but she did call me first. That's true. Yeah. Well, keep up the good work, son. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello? Is Mike home? Yes, this is Mike. Hi, Mike. This is Dennis Hughes. Yes. Yes, I'm calling on behalf of the Neighborhood Coalition. Uh-huh. I had a complaint here from various people in your neighborhood about a little sticky situation going on. Uh, I wonder if you could comment on it. Apparently, there's a, a Winnebago or a, some large truck in the back of your yard. Is that right? Well, the situation stands that uh, I have the Winnebago for sale, but I have a problem with the plumbing right at the moment, and I can't really sell it with the problem. I'm trying to fix that. Mm -hmm. But it is for sale. Uh, an inspector came out and told us that we couldn't park it. Um, we had to park it as far back in the backyard as we could. Uh -huh. So we complied with that. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to sell it. You know, we're not trying to, to make the yard out to be a junkyard. Well, I had heard that your yard looks something like, uh, remember the old TV show Sanford and Son? Oh, sure. I had heard it look kind of like that. If, if they don't like it, I mean, that's, you know, that's up to them, but I am in the process of selling my motorhome. Okay. What year is the motorhome? It's a 1969. Oh, my gosh. So it's pretty beat up, I suppose. No, it's not pretty beat up. It's in fair shape. So once again, within the next week or so, it should be off your property, correct? Well, it'll be off my property as soon as I can get it sold. So you're saying you have a 1969 beat-up Winnebago for sale, and you're going to be able to sell this? You know, rather than sit here and make smart remarks, why don't you come out and take a look at it? Well, sir, it's my job to call people and make smart remarks. Why is it your job to make smart remarks? Is that what they pay you for, to make smart remarks? I beg to differ with you. I don't think that's your job. I really don't. Believe it or not, sir, they pay me. They do, huh? Is yeah. this the call of the day? You got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> it's the call of the day challenge, and we got you. All right. Or maybe you got us in the end. I don't know, but uh, I think I was 
standing up pretty good. I think you did great. <laughs> well, good luck once again, and hey, welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to order some flowers for my love. Oh, okay, is that for in the Twin City area delivery? Yes. Are there any type of flowers that, uh, how should I put it, are maybe edible? Not by humans.